Hey guys, well, it says we're live here. We'll try and uh, wait a second and see if anybody pops in here. We're out at the James Pax Benefit that me and April have been working on with uh, Freedom of the Road Riders Local 31 for a couple months now. We did our benefit today. We had a, uh, a fun run. We've been collecting donations on YouTube for the last couple months. And before we even started the ride today, we had over $2,000 donations over the internet from people who watch and do YouTube and things like that. So we had a good start today when we started. I mean, we, we realistically, if we thought we could raise four or $5,000 for the family of this 10 year old boy with cancer, that that would be a, a worthwhile effort. And you know, it, the weather was storming this morning. It was rough out. Uh, a lot of people, I think, were sure if they were going to come. We had 30 to 40 bikes show up to do the fun run. But we had gotten tons of silent auction donations from people in the community. And to be honest, I was a little worried that we wouldn't have enough people show up to buy all the donations because we had a lot of donations. I mean, Custom Dynamics donated, Rocky Mountain ATV, local businesses and restaurants and people just chipped in and donated all all kinds of stuff. Everything from pillowcases to Harley parts and you know amazing stuff. But the generosity of people is just amazing when they come together to, to help someone like this 10-year-old boy and his family. He's got bone cancer in his pelvis at 10 years old. And we rode today, and we, and we rode, you know, probably close to 100 miles, or maybe a little more than that. And we got rained on later in the day, and, and one of the ladies commented, she said, you know, I was riding in the rain, and the rain stinging me in the face and everything else, and it hurt. She said, but you know, that's nothing compared to what that little boy's going through. And it, it, you know, so it was like, I'm gonna do it, because, you know, what he's going through is way worse than this. I can do this for him. So we did our fun run today. Then we come back here tonight, and we sold hamburgers and hot dogs and chips and sodas for $5 a plate. We had food, we had this silent auction, then we had a live auction. And, you know, people just, there were, we got back here at five o'clock from the fun run and the parking lot was full of vehicles. And I was like, oh my God, they showed up, they came, people came. You know, we sometimes we lose faith in the, you know, human aspect of people, you know, of supporting each other and take care of each other. And, you know, we're in uh, Rolla, Missouri, Southern Missouri. So my faith in humanity was greatly restored today. So as you guys saw by the title, after we did the fun run, which was a $10 donation, and there was only 30 or 40 bikes show up from that, and we got back here and we did the silent auction and people showed up for the silent auction. We had, we had so much stuff we could barely fit it all, all on the tables. And we had like 10 long folding tables just full of stuff. And then we did a live auction where people bid on stuff and then they donated it back and somebody else bought it. Then they donated it back again. And when we were all said and done, and I'm not gonna, you know, you guys all seen the total, but we raised $13,700 for a 10 year old boy and his family who is suffering from bone cancer in his pelvis. And one of the most amazing things about it, more so than the $13,000 is the little boy was supposed to come up for the silent auction, but he had treatment this week and his blood count level was low and he had to have a transfusion. And so if you know anything about what that means, that means that after a blood transfusion, he can't be around other people because his immune system's really weak and things like that. But he was so you know, disappointed that he couldn't come up for the silent auction and meet all these people who are doing all this to support him. And so we contacted the family and we were gonna see if we could ride by the house or something on the bikes at the end of the fun run or something and you know just ride by and let him see the bikes and stuff and know that we had his back. Well, he was actually staying with his grandparents and they live a little bit out of town. They're like, how about we meet you in town? We're like, great. So we picked a parking lot, a big parking lot where we could meet at so he could be there in a vehicle and we would drive by and he could see us all. Well, we were about an hour from being done and we got this photo of him sitting in a lawn chair with a great big umbrella in the rain while we're riding for him. And he is sitting out in the rain too, waiting for us to come by. He was there, they couldn't get him to stay home. He was so excited, he was so ready to see everybody and thank them for what they did that he wanted to go right then and there. So they took him up and put him in a lawn chair and put an umbrella over him while it's pouring down rain. And he sat there and waited for us to get there. This little boy's, I mean, you know, he's going through so much and you know, he couldn't wait to see us. And he sat there in an, for an hour in the back of a pickup truck with an umbrella waiting on us to get there. And we rolled through and we all rode by and pulled through the parking lot and waved and revved our bikes and 
you know, waved at him and told him we got his back and everything else, and he's yelling thank you and everything else. That once wasn't just enough. We had to circle the rack around and go through the parking lot again and do it again. And then we come back here to the, the Moose Lodge in Rolla, which donated the hall for us to do this benefit at. And that little boy was so excited. He was so happy. It was His family came down here tonight. Um, the donations just came and came and came. And people bid and bid and bid on stuff. You know, $25 on a $15 gift card. Uh, my friends at Plug Ugly did a custom airbrush bat wing. It sold for $275. Then it was donated back and sold for $225. Then it was donated back and sold for $200. So that item alone brought $700. And when we were all said and done, we did $13,700 for this little boy and his family. And they were just overwhelmed. And so are we, and we're not done yet. That's the thing. We still have people that I know have said, oh, in the last couple of days, oh, we didn't know about this. We're going to mail you a check. We've still got money coming in. We're going to break 14000 And this is way beyond anything we expected or, you know, hoped for or dreamed of. But, you know, there are wonderful, wonderful people in the motorcycle community and in the local community to come out and support a child and his family that are going through something like this. And uh, I am just blessed to be a part of something like this and to all my friends out there who have channels like ozark hd riders and ty from tennessee and sinister clutch and everybody else i mean we had people from the uk simon and i can't name them all we have a board in there with everybody's name on it i'm gonna do a video of this event but all those people donated and we could not have done it without you so thank you bless you love you you guys stay safe Keep on riding and have a wonderful, wonderful night.